you're doing great. You only have one more time to go. Over. Pull. Lift the heel and drop it back down. Again. Keep it under control. Down. Squeeze. Lift back up. Four. Three. Two. And hold right there. <laughs> Ready? Hi, I'm Amy Esther Hay, and I'd like to welcome you to Good Housekeeping's Lower Body Tone-Up. I've designed this program to strengthen and define the muscles in your thighs, your buttocks, and your stomach. I'll be working with Trish and Ann, and some of the exercises that we'll be doing will be performed on the floor, so if you're not working on a soft carpet, please make sure you've got an exercise mat or a cushion on hand. Also, make sure you've got comfortable exercise clothing, exercise shoes, and don't forget to pace yourself. So, are you ready to get started? Let's warm up. You ready to start the warm up? Let's start by tapping the toes. Ready? Let's go. Tap it out. Just tap that toe. Good. Make sure the shoulders stay relaxed. You got it. Now march it out. Good. Lift it. Come on. You're working that upper body. Now step out wide. Take it out wide. Back in. Do it again. Take it wide. Great. Now in. Two times. And back out wide. Again. Out wide. Now single. In. And wide. Good. Come on. Warm up those legs. You're looking good. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last time. Stay wide. Now push. Just side to side. Great. Four more. Three. Last two. Start with the right heel. Lift it. And it's up. Now center. Now left. Now squat. Center, pull back. Good. Try it again. Lift up and down. Lift. Center. You got it. Try it two more times. Lift that heel. Take it to the side. Now center and back. One more time. Lift. Lower. Last time. Press and down. Now four squats. Center. One, two, three. Lift the leg, down and up, down, lift, good. Feel like you're warming up a little bit, getting those legs warm. Ready? Four more times, four and up, three, last two, down, lift, down, four squats, one, two. Now get ready for a box step here. Step and around, back, again, step, around, Two more times. Good. Press. One more time. Up and around. Now step out wide and hold it here. Now turn to the side. Arms go up. Lift. Lower. Lift. Just two more. Lift and lower. And hold it right there. Now lift your heel. Roll your hip. Sink down and back up. Squeeze the hamstring. Drop it down and roll your foot all the way back down. Ready? Lift, tuck, down and up. Squeeze, drop, slow back down. Two more. Lift, tuck, down, up. Squeeze, drop. One more time. Lift, tuck, down, up. Squeeze, drop, back down. Now hold. Slide that back foot, hold the stretch, hamstring. Knee is soft right here. Bring it center, now squat four. And drop your shoulders right and left. Four, three, two, now round it up, slow, lift. Two, and a box step this side. Four, great. Three more, up and around. Sit back and again, two more, up and around. One more time. Take it up and around. This time, stay out wide. Take it to the side. You've got it. Lift up. up. 
and down. Roll all the way through that foot. Two more, lift and lower. Hands to the waist, ready? Same thing on this side. Down, up, squeeze, drop, roll the foot down. Lift, tuck, down, and up. Squeeze it, drop the toe, roll back down. Two more times, lift, tuck, down, and up. Squeeze, drop, just one more time. Lift up and tuck, slow back down. Squeeze, drop, roll it down, now hold it there. Slide the back foot in, sit back and hold. Four, three, two, now bring it center. Squat four, great, now round and release. Up, two, and release. Now take it to the top slow. You've just completed the warm up. Let's go on to lower body toning. This section of the exercises are going to focus on the calves, the thighs, and the hips. Are you ready to get started? Make sure that your knees are out over your toes. Starting with your right heel, you're going to squat down and lift it. Two up, two down. Is everybody ready to go? Okay, shoulders back, here we go. Down, two, and lift. You're gonna lift that heel way up. Down, two, and lift. Make sure that knee stays out. Down, two, and lift. And again, down, two, and lift. Now heel lifts, eight, seven, six. Just that heel, four, three. Now let's try it to the other side. Down, two, and lift. And again, good, down, nice and slow, two more, lift the heel, and again, one more time, lift up, and back down. Now singles, one, and two, and three, four more, four, three, let's go to the other side, just too slow, down, slow, squeeze the gluteal muscles, and it's down, two, and up, now four fast this time, one, and two, and same thing on the other side. Take it down nice and slow. Make sure you're squeezing on the way back up. Down, and two, and lift. Four fast, squeeze, two, three. Now eight singles, side to side. You're just gonna lift that heel. Focus on the calves. Four, and three, and two. Now squat down, four, three, two, and hold right there. Bring the feet in a little closer together. I want them about hip distance apart. Knees are out over the toes. You're gonna start in a semi-squat position and take it down, two, up. Now make sure that the weight is on the back two-thirds of the heels right here. Again, down, two, and up. One more, down, two, that's great. Now four singles, down, and up, just like you're sitting in a chair. And again, two, let's try it again, slow. Take it down, great. Don't lock those knees out, down, two. And again, two more slow, forward, and down. One more time, lift, up, and down. Four fast, one, and down, squeeze. Hold the abdominals in, good. Let's try it again. Low, down, squeeze, back up, and again, sit way back, keep the chest lifted here, and it's down, two, great, one more time, lift those arms forward for balance, now singles, four, and down, three, and down, two, and down, let's try it just one more time, take it down nice and slow, and up. And again, these are great exercises for the buttocks and the thighs. Two more, down, down, and up. One more time, take it down, and down, and up. Now four singles, it's down, and up, two, and up, three. You did great, that's it. Now bring your hands to your waist. I want you to bring the heels in and the toes out. You're gonna make sure you pull the hips forward and bend the knees. Down and up. Now step to the side. Step out and drag the leg. Step. Now four squats. Down and up. And let's do it again. Step to the side. Want to make sure that you really drag that heel for inner thigh work. Down and up and down. Try it again.
Step wide, are the heels in, the toes out. Again, squat two. You're doing great. Try it one more time to the side. Down and up, squat down. Now two squats, down and up and down. Now hold right there. You're gonna bring those feet together, a squat and a lift, down. Now watch the angle of the leg. It's going out to a diagonal right behind. Don't let that lower back take over. You're looking good. Two more. Down. Ah, Down. Last time. And hold center. Take your right foot. Step way back. Now lift your heel. I want you to roll your hip forward and shoulders back. Ready? Take it down. Slow. Slow. Now the position of the front knee does not go beyond 90 degrees. Very easy, down, two, and up. One more time, down, two, and up. Now pulse at eight counts, one, two, three. Squeeze the buttocks, four more. Very nice, now hold. Drop the heel back and slide that foot back in. And again, heels in, toes out, two squats. If down and up, ready to go to the side again, just step and pull, step and pull. Two squats, down and up. Hold the abdominals in, try it again. It's step and drag, step. Two squats, down, good. Work those inner thighs. Let's try it one more time. Down and up and down. Two squats, down, lift. You're doing great, you only have one more time to go. Over, pull, over, pull. Two squats, down and up. And down, hold right there. Now bring your feet parallel one more time. Squat and lift. It's down and out. And remember, the leg won't go too far. Watch your lower back. Four more. Down, up, down, and up. Last two. Ah, oh, very nice. Last time, bring it in and hold. Step back. Hold that stretch. Lift the heel. Roll the hip, shoulders back. Now down, nice and easy, and back up. Remember that knee stays no farther than 90 degree angle. And down, down, and up. One more time. Down, and down, squeeze. Now singles, eight, seven, six, five. Last four, and three, and two, and hold. Now drop your heel back, and slide the foot back in. Step to the side little wider than the hips. Squat down, hands to the thighs. Now three squats and a lift. One and two and three and lift. And down and two and three. Woo! Again, you're working hard. And again, take it out. Down and two and three. Now singles, squat and lift. Down and up, good. Down and up, that's great. Four more. Four, and up, three, and up, two, and up. Now hands to the waist, and it's a squat and leg across. Good, flex that foot. Now focus on the inner thigh here. I want you to make sure that you really lead with your heel each time. Four more, three more, two more. Now let's do a squat and a hamstring. So down and back. Great. Don't forget, really take it down low and bring it back up. Down and up and down. Two more. Down. Lift. Down. Now four squats again. One, two. Let's start that over again. Ready? Three squats. Two, three, and lift. Down. Two, three. Lift up. One more set of these. You're doing great. Those legs are working. Down, two, three. Now squat and lift. Down to the side. Good. Hold the abs in. Yes, you can do it. Give me four more here. Four and out. Three, out, two, out. Great. Now squat and take it in. Right inner thigh here. Again, down and cross. Down and cross. Four more, three more, we're almost done. Good, last time, hamstring down, squeeze down, 
Lift, down, lift, down. Four more, come on. Four, and up, three, and up, two, and up. Now just four squats here. One, two, three, and hold. Now slowly bring it back up. Good work. Let's go on to the floor work. Make sure you get a mat or a cushion. This section is going to focus mainly on inner and outer thighs and buttocks. Now occasionally Ann and Trish will show you variations to help make the exercises easier for you. Start by pulling your knees in 90 degrees and then sliding your legs out just slightly. Making sure that your feet are together, opening the legs and it's up and down, and up, and down. Lift, open, and close, and open, and close. That's it, squeeze, release, lift, lower, lift, again, up, and down, lift. Four more, four, and down, three, and down, two, and down. Last time, hold at the top, now pulse, squeeze, lift, that's it. Last four, four more. Good. Now hold at the top and take it down nice and slow for two. And lift back up for two. And again, down. Use that resistance. Back up. And again, down nice and slow. And back up one more time. Down and down. And lift and hold at the top. Now lift your foot off and bring it 90, just 90 degrees again. Pull to the chest. And it's in. Once again, you want to make sure that this leg is coming in right in the center of the chest. The foot is flexed, and the knee and the ankle are on the same level. You've got it. Just squeeze, and again, pull in and out and in. Last four, four, and it's three. Just two more. And then you're going to hold it in and pulse right there. Squeeze in, close to the chest. Four more, four three, two, and hold right there. Now take the leg down to the front and lift back up and down, two, and lift. Once again, you can see that the knee and the ankle are on the same level. You're doing great. Take it down and down and lift two more times. Down, down, and lift back up. One more. Take it down and down and lift. Now knee to the floor and extend that leg. Drop it. You must pull that hip forward for this one. And four and extend. Three and extend. Last two. Last one. Hold the leg out there. Take your arm underneath your leg and just pull it in. Let's go on to inner thigh. So extend your leg out. Make sure that you bring your foot in front or drop your knee down, just like Ann or Trish. I want you to flex that bottom foot and lift up and down. Good work. Keep going. Lift and lower. And up and down. Four more. Three. Just two more. Lift and lower. Now hold it up and pulse for four with a flex. Great. Now point that toe. This makes for great definition in the shin and the calf. Flex again. And point for four. Lift. Two. Three. Now in twos, flex, and point, and again, flex, two, and point. Now singles, and it's up, and down, and lift, and lower. Last two, good work, last one, and hold. Now make sure that your foot is flexed. Bend that knee slightly. Now push it away, just as if I have my hand on the bottom of your foot, and you're pushing. Use that resistance. Two more. Last time, hold it in and drop it down. Let's go quickly over to the elbows and knees. Now, if it's hard for you to be on your knees, you may want to follow Trish. She'll be on her back and squeezing those gluteal muscles. So lift and flex that foot. Lift, down, and press, and down. Lift and lower. Great. And as you get stronger, perhaps you can join me and Anne. As you lift and lower, you're gonna squeeze at the top. Now pulse and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold right there. Now take it down for three counts and push back up. And down, nice and slow, three counts. And push back up two more. Down, 
down, down, and press, and one more. Good. Now four singles. Down, full extension. Great. Two more here. You did it. Last time, slowly bring it back down. Let's sit back and stretch. And make sure if you are working with Trish that you follow her stretch right here. Bring the hands back to the center. And let's go over quickly to the other side. So get in position again by bringing your knees in 90 degrees. Roll the body forward. Slide the legs down slightly. Open the knees. Lift up and down. Everybody doing okay back there? Good. All right, four more here. Use the resistance. Make sure the hip is working. Two more. Lift and lower. Lift, hold at the top and pulse and squeeze. Press those feet together. Use the resistance there. Good, and hold. Now down for two and lift back up for two. That's it, that's it. And two more times. And again, down, slow and back up, and one more time, down, slow, and lift and hold there. Now lift your foot up, flex your foot, knee to the chest, ready? In and out, in and out. Once again, let me remind you, don't extend that leg all the way. I want you to keep that knee slightly bent the whole time. Four, three, two, hold it in, and pulse, squeeze. Roll the body forward, don't lean back. Four, three, two, and hold. Now down slowly in front, lift back up. These are hard, come on, you can do it. Don't forget to breathe, and again, down nice and slow, and lift back up, and down, and lift back up. One more, down and down. Now knee to the floor, and extend the leg. Almost there. Last two, good work. Last one, and extend and hold. Reach around and pull in. Are you ready to go over? Extend that leg out, take the leg over, grab the ankle, flex the foot, now lift. Up and down, lift and lower. Good, make sure you push through that heel. Four more. Inner thigh works here, can you feel it? Two more, great. Now, pulse four times, flex that foot. Remember, you've gotta point it now, push through, and flex again, press, that's great. Now point again, you're doing well. Now in twos this time, flex it, and point. One more time, flex, good, point. Now single counts here, flex, point, flex. Last four, four, three, two, one, and hold. Flex the foot, knee slightly in. It's in and press it away. Once again, think about my hand on the bottom of your foot and you're pressing each time. Two more, last time, hold it and slowly down. And again, let's go to the elbows and knees. Let me remind you that to, you need to watch Trish press up and down, lift and down, lift. If you're not comfortable up on these elbows and your knees, it's important for you to get into position, one that's comfortable for you. Lift up and down, press up and down. Two more, lift and lower, lift. Now pulse it up, eight count, squeeze, lift, lift. Four more, four, three, two, hold right there. Now slowly down. Two, three, and back up. And again, down, two, three, back up. Ooh, two more times. That's great. Last time, down, two, three, back up. Now single count, drop, press, down. Just two more. Good work. Last time, hold it up, drop it down. And once again, modify your stretch, hold it and slowly bring it back up. Good work. Now let's go on to the abdominal section. This section focuses on the abdominal muscles. 
Now, occasionally, Trish will be demonstrating some modifications of the exercises. For instance, if Ann and I have both legs elevated in the air, Trish may only have one leg elevated. And she'll always keep one hand behind her head to support her neck. Are you ready to get started? I'd like for you to place both feet about hip distance apart, take your hands right underneath your legs, and slowly round back, just like you're sitting on the inside of a circle. You're pulling through the shoulder blades, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders, and keeping the abdominal muscles tight and pressed against the spine. Just hold right there, hold, find that low point. Now, when you get ready to lift, make sure it's nice and smooth. Lift up and up, now round back down, good, lift, lift. Now, if you feel strong enough here, you can release the hands and slow back down, lift up and up. Now don't forget to breathe. Rule of thumb, exhale on the effort, on the hardest part of the exercise, that's where you need to breathe. And down and again, lift and up and slow back down. Great, lift, lift, slow back down. Two more times, lift to the top and roll it back down. And again, lift to the top and roll back down. Now singles, lift and lower. Just a very small range of motion. All of these exercises need to be performed in a very slow and controlled manner. And again, lift up and down and up. Relax those shoulders. Are you breathing? Good, lift, two more. Lift up and down. Now hold it center and just pulse, very small. See, we're hardly going anywhere, just real small. Squeeze, lift, keep those muscles tight. They should be warming up. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Now hold on once again underneath those legs, and I want you to round down in four counts. One, two, three, and four. Extend your arms and now your legs. Really stretch, pull through the abdominal muscles. Now bring your hands back behind your head and both feet about hip distance apart. Now lift one leg up. We're gonna start with a pelvic tilt. So you'll start by lifting your tailbone. Up two counts and back down. Now the upper body is stationary. Let's focus on lower body here. So it's just as if you're bringing your hip bone up towards the navel. It's lift and squeeze and down. Now if you feel strong enough, you can take the other foot off the floor and lift both together and round it back down. As you round back down, think about just floating those legs through thick air. Good, and down. Lift, up, round back down. Lift, up, round back down. Good, now two more times here, and we're gonna add upper body. Lift to the top, and back down. Now upper body, lift and squeeze. Take it back down. The elbows are wide, and you've got plenty of room between your chin and your chest. Lift, up, look straight up at the ceiling. That's great. Lift, squeeze, really crunch right in the center. Four more. Lift, and down. How are you feeling? Lift. Are you breathing? Two more. Lift, come on. And down one more time. It's lift and squeeze and back down and release. Drop your feet to the floor and extend those legs straight out. Arms overhead and quick stretch here. Good work. Now bring your hands back behind the head and again, place your feet about hip distance apart. And once again, I want you to lift the upper body and hold the contraction. And we're gonna reach forward starting with the left hand to the knee, ready? Lift up and up and round back down. And again, lift, lift, slow back down. So this time we're focusing on upper portion of the abdominal muscle. Lift up and up, push the back down and breathe. Come on, four more and up, down and down. Three more, you're looking good. Just two more times like this. Then we'll take the arm across the body and work the muscles that run diagonally. Let's take it across. Reach over, pull back, and over, pull back. So here you've got one hand behind your head supporting the neck. It's over and back and over. Now intensify this movement by taking the hand just to the outside of the leg. Over, pull back, 
and over. You're doing great. Come on, squeeze. These are the muscles that shape the waist. Four more. Four and back. Two more. Lift and back. Lift and hold it back. Now extend one leg up and reach diagonally. Up and pull back. Now see if you can reach to the outside of that heel. Lift and lower. Good. Squeeze and back. Make sure you've got the other elbow anchored on the floor. Support your head. Two more. Lift up and down. Last time and hold. Now drop that foot down. Extend the other leg up and reach up and back. Lift and lower. Come on. Take it way outside to the other side of the foot. Lift and lower and lift can you do two more up pull back last time hold back now take your hands behind your head lift the other leg up or you can keep one leg down if you want to follow Trish now we're gonna reach up towards those feet ready lift two three now by the knees come on push two keep it a tight crunch now by the hips press two three hands behind the head it's down two and up two and down two and up and hold hold it squeeze isometric contraction now reach again lift two three and by the knees come on squeeze two three and again down by the hips and press and press hands behind the head down nice and slow and back up again down, slow, back up, hold right there. It's an isometric contraction. Don't go anywhere. Now slowly round the upper body down. Bend your knees, drop your feet, extend your legs out, arms overhead, and stretch. Let's do that whole combination over again. Now you know how to do it. I want you to really work hard. Bring the hands back behind the head. Bring your feet in hip distance. Get ready. I want you to bring your legs up. Now we're going to work in twos, upper body lifts, lift, squeeze, slow back down, again, lift, squeeze, good. Now as the muscles warm up, these should begin to become just a little bit easier, and lift, down, and down, great, lift, squeeze, down, two more times, lift to the top, and down, one more, one more, lift, squeeze, back down and hold now drop those feet down torso up and reach to the knee one two round it down again lift lift down squeeze it up lift and up and down good work two more lift push that back down are you breathing and last time take it across diagonally over pull back and over. Now intensify the movement by taking the hand to the outside of the leg. Over. Pull back and over. Four more. Four and back. Three and back. Last two. Last one and hold it there. Extend one leg up and reach up and back and lift and lower. You're doing great. Just four more here. Four and back. Three now two more last time hold it back drop the foot extend the other leg and reach lift lower lift pull it across now remember that arm should go across the body and lift and lower two more times lift and back and lift now hold it back hands behind the head arms back legs up Lift the torso. Now lift towards the feet. Ready. Up. Two. Three. Now by the knees, press. Come on, crunch. Little crunches. And by the hips, you're doing great. Good. Good. And hands back. Down. Two. Lift. Two. Down. Two. Lift. And hold. Slowly round it down. Pull those knees to the chest. Good job. You've just completed the abdominal section. We're ready to go on to the stretch. Drop your feet down. Extend your legs. Now for our favorite part of the workout, the stretch. I'd like for you to take your feet about hip distance apart. 
place your hands underneath the knees and just gently roll back so you feel the stretch all the way across your shoulders. Open up those shoulder blades and now slowly round yourself back down to the floor as you extend the legs out and the arms overhead. And just give yourself a nice long stretch. Reach for either wall. Just reach and now relax back down into the floor. Pull one knee carefully to the chest. Make sure the other leg stays extended on the floor and you'll feel a very nice stretch down the front of the leg. Now don't forget to go at your own pace on all of these stretches. So stretch wherever you feel comfortable. Never force a stretch and try to hold it as long as you possibly can. Now slide that extended leg in so you're placing the foot on the floor and walk your hand up that bent leg. And gently pull in so you get that good stretch down the hamstring or the back of the leg. And as you press up through your heel, it'll intensify a little more the stretch through the calf. Now if you can, reach up and grab the toe and gently pull forward. If you can't reach your toe, don't worry about it. You'll get there. Flexibility takes a while to build up. Now relax it down, hold. Now just point your toe and flex. And again, point the toe and flex. And circle your ankle in one direction. Great big circle. And now reverse that circle. And relax the leg back down. Let's do the other side. Pull the knee to the chest, holding the stretch. So once again, you'll feel the elongation down the front of the leg and hold. Don't forget to breathe evenly. And now carefully bring that extended leg in so the foot is on the floor as you walk your hands up the leg and hold it. You're doing great. These stretches should feel so good after you've worked hard. Make sure that the knee remains soft and once again, flex your foot and if you can reach that toe, that's great. And release. Now point the toe and flex, and point the toe, and flex, and just circle your ankle in one direction, and then carefully in the other direction. And now this time, bring both knees to the chest, hands underneath those knees, and pull in to stretch out your back. Now take your hands out to the side, and just drop your knees to one side as you bring your body up to a sitting position. Make sure you support your back and bring one leg in. Now reach around, grab your foot, support yourself with your other hand as you line up the hip and the knee and press down into your palm. Hold. You feel that good stretch down the front of the leg? Now extend that leg out just to an angle. Line up the torso and the shoulders. Lift up, hands to the floor in front to support your back and just think up and over and stretch out through the hip and press back up. Let's change sides. Bring the leg in and reach around, grab the foot again. Supporting yourself with the other hand and you've got a nice elongation all the way through the hip. Hold it. And release as you extend the leg out and once again, come up to a sitting position, lift up out of the torso, hands in front, and again, just stretch forward, nice, easy stretch. Do you feel it through the hip and through the inner thigh here? Hold it, and slowly come back up, and just cross your ankles in front. Placing your hands right on top of your knees, just drop your ear to one side, Drop your chin down through the center and to the other side. Bring it back to center. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Congratulations. You've just completed Good Housekeeping's lower body tone up. Now combine this with other in the Good Housekeeping workout series and you should feel stronger and look better in no time. Thanks, ladies.